she's not idealistic and she's not your plain jane character uh, you make your female characters more interesting you know whether it's it's you know tapsi's character in man marzia and, and things like that now here the interesting point also is the way you show uh the husband's interaction with her because while she takes in charge and earns the money in the house if the husband becomes more insecure which is a a balance that a lot of people would probably you know not which is not often shown i think that dynamic also was very interesting uh tell me a little bit more about that anurag see one thing is well, the very first thing that attracted me to nehit's script was the flawed characters i like flawed characters i don't like very i to i've always hated the girl next door in hindi cinema i hate it hello i i abhor the idea of a girl next door people who are like their job is to just look prim and perfect and beautiful and and are supposed to behave in a certain way which is approved by everybody from top to bottom i just if in, in person also if i meet somebody like that i would i'll run away i like flawed people people have their flaws and they have their insecurities and they have their things and they have their strengths and the reason i like sarita so much is sarita is sarita is every woman sarita is every woman she has her own struggle she's she's a woman who has sacrificed her dream out of an expectation she thinks she has let down her husband and herself she's carrying that guilt that trauma of having choked that trauma still doesn't leave her she dreams of it every night she's insomnia she is a workaholic she when she finds money she's grateful because she thinks it's a miracle happening openly to her so she's grateful to god because she believes in that god does those miracle to her she is also starts to become greedy she becomes protective she becomes secretive it also gives her she suddenly finds enough strength to lock the bathroom door the way she pulls that old lady who is sleeping on the mattress because you know she feels invasion of privacy whole lot of things that she goes through she's an every woman and that's why she's so interesting and so attractive and i want to know her story why she is the way she is and she's never talked about what haunts her till right in the end when she loses everything and she cries and she's you understand her then her whole life has been about like why do i always lose and that somehow brings out the good side of sushant as well and he all they find each other after that and that's something that didn't do for 10 years they probably did not had this conversation where they showed their vulnerabilities to each other they just kept blaming each other they kept accusing each other which is happen which is what happens in every household which is what happens in every household the kid starts to become an adult too soon so that's what attracted me to the script and and i just wanted sarita to be like that i said you can't be just this perfect person and she's not this perfect person and that is what is so incredibly beautiful about her and secondly anurag uh, you know and i will go to sexual violence particularly you know of course mm-hmm. there's a series uh, patal lok happened with that and the entire discussion also has arisen as to that how much of sexual violence is okay without retribution uh you know the the makers try to justify sexual violence by saying that it was necessary to uh, and we are and we depicting reality but without retribution uh it also can become problematic it can trigger when when people are watching it where they would want to and other things and um, you know which make it more problematic what is your take on that anurag and as a filmmaker today after so many years taking it account the the you know the kind of uh you know the atrocities in the country that happened especially with women why do you think that is also important to kind of highlight see i have a very different perspective on violence and i have always i am kind of i have a certain obsession with the idea of it that i have tried to explore it right from my first film onwards most of my films i keep i've kept violence off screen like whether it's raman raga or panch or everything and one film i where i decided i'll keep violence on screen and i will not take eyes off from it i will not cut away from it so there are no cuts single take violence scenes which was gangs of wasipur okay. the idea my idea of exploring violence is because i've seen that you know when we see violence in very mainstream movies like the marvel movies or the kung fu movies and karate movies the violence is very unreal and glamorous that for me perpetuates more violence when the violence is brutal and gruesome it puts you off you can't watch it you it makes you so uncomfortable and whenever violence makes you uncomfortable it really puts you off violence when violence is gratifying 
like somebody jumping on the street and fighting 20 villains that excites people to go out and go and get into a fight that makes people fantasize that's something that i have been constantly toying with watching movies and what happens in the real world is when the whenever violence makes uncomfortable people start questioning it and when the violence is not uncomfortable they are u certificate movies and shown to children and they they pick up fights i'm saying we need to start looking at violence from a new prism the violence okay. needs to be done in a way where it really puts you off in it can only happen when people are who are filming violence are against violence like i make very dark movies and i'm often accused of making dark movies i can't stand the sight of blood i see real blood and i paint i'm saying that's why my relationship with violence is like this and i i'm very anti any kind of a violence and that's why i am obsessed with it because i want to study and and explore the nature of it watch e town news monday to friday at 9:30 pm only on zoom